What's up, YouTube? My name's Chance. The channel is Chance Bishop's Breaks, and today oh, we have ourselves another hobby box opening here of 2023 Topps Heritage. Uh, so we get one a guaranteed relic or auto in every box. Last opening, uh, we got the was it Kyle Wright, Kyle Wright jersey card right there, as well as the Tristan McKenzie uh, numbered to 50, the unnumbered black parallel numbered to 50. That's at least that's what the comments told me it was. Uh, we have an oversized uh, card right here. Who's this going to be? Is this Conseco? Uh, Reggie Jackson. It was 50-50. I saw the player running. saw the A's. I go, eh, it's Conseco or Henderson. Uh, I'm wrong on both. It's Reggie Jackson. Uh, so there's uh, the Reggie Jackson oversized box loader card right there. So no uh, vintage car with a stamp on it. A uh, little unfortunate on that one. I always prefer uh, the uh, vintage cards that have the uh, repurposed logo on it. Uh, I like me some managers who have their faces entirely uh, just covered up because of it. Or just, you know, just bad placement. You have super wide angle photos and they decide to put the logo right on the player even though that the card has a ton of negative space on it uh ryu is a casty uh jordan lyles who's like the worst pitcher in a baseball right now we have a corbin carroll good old corbin carroll gonna put that to the side sleeve up uh same thing with the vientos sleeve of that one up altuve joe ryan and jorge lopez all right, checking the backs as well for any sort of image uh, variations, you know, because these cards just do not uh, do not make it easy on you uh, when it comes to variations. There's no real tell. You know, you'll have your your close-ups. You'll have your um, what I call it? I'm drawing a blank on what they're called, but you'll have like your close-ups. And it's like, oh yeah, that's a close-up short print. Uh, but then, they'll just have some players whose card is a super close-up of them. So that's always uh, fun when it comes uh, to Heritage. Uh, but, moving on right here. Next pack pack, number two of uh, the opening. Uh, Gritchick, Alexis uh, Diaz, uh, Franklin uh, German, Corey Kluber. McCullers, uh, Danny Jansen, come on cards, uh, Alex Verdugo, uh, we have Aaron Judge Special, 2019 and 2020, and a JJ Blade. so good old JJ Blade right there, uh, we're also looking for, as I go through these, any uh, flip stocks where the fronts are supposed to be glossy, and the back uh, fronts are rough uh, because the stock is flipped on them. So I always also always go through check there. Frambler, Ben Tendi, uh, Hayden, we have Kenley, Miguel and Duhar, Cesar Hernandez. Oh, we have Mean Gene Segura, Alex Bregman, and MJ Melendez. As uh, we go through uh, this pack right here, so always checking for any. Uh, sort of short print right there. Nothing in uh, this pack. Moving on pack number four. Uh, so we do get one guaranteed autograph or relic card. Uh, maybe with Fanatics, it's uh, things change maybe. Uh, Libra Tour. It's a decent rookie right there. Casey Mize, Marcus Stroman, Brian Reynolds, Daniel Bard, uh, Vinny Pasquatino, and George Kirby, second year. Uh, so Kirby... Doing fairly well uh, the last time I took a look at him. He's having himself a fairly uh, fairly good season. It seems like every time I see him in the news or anything trending, it's usually just him or Logan Gilbert just doing very well for the uh, Seattle Mariners. On to row number two here in this box. Uh, taking a little taking a little longer, honestly. Wander second year, Nathaniel Lowe, Noah Davis, Alec Thomas second year, Ezekiel Tovar, Jeter Downs, 
uh, Lou Brock, John Birdie. There's Aaron Nola. And there's Patrick Corbin, probably the worst contract in all of baseball. I mean, at least hey, the only difference between him and Steven Strasburg, probably, uh, is that uh, at least Patrick Corbin pitches. So, I mean, the Nationals have a lock at the, the worst two contracts in baseball. Um, one of them being Patrick Corbin, the other being Steven Strasburg. And the only real difference that makes Strasburg's um, slightly worse, I mean, or Corbin's slightly better, is that uh, at least Corbin plays while Strasburg uh, does not because of uh, a nerve damage. So, real shame to see that a player who was very hyped up coming out of college in um, a Steven Strasburg that he is running into such injuries in his career. I mean, his don't he's really had a healthy season. He's had really good seasons. I don't think he's ever had like a truly 100% healthy season. All-star outfielders, Acuna and Judge. Here's an Oswaldo, Wado, Ivan Herrera, Logan Webb, Zach Thompson, Salvi. We have Rockefeller becomes 41st U.S. Vice President. Uh, Adolis Garcia and a Ryan Nelson uh, for the Diamondbacks. Diamondbacks doing fairly well. Uh, the young players on that team finally uh, pulling their way and getting things done in uh, the big leagues. So I always like to see that uh, when the talent finally arrives. You know, I think Zach Gallen, um, Patrick, not, was not, um, you got Carroll, you got, you know, very young pitching staff, a lot of players coming up in the next year or so. Jeremiah Estrada. Uh, Adrian Marion, Gavin Sheets, Nate Fisher, and we have Easton McGee, Riley Green, a rookie, uh, then and now, Nolan Ryan, Sandy Alcantara, uh, Eggy, uh, Rosario for the Padres rookie, and a Harrison Bader. Yeah, I don't know how to say that name. Uh, I don't know what letters go where. Uh, in that name, I apologize if that was just like a super easy name that I entirely butchered. I bet he is a great baseball player, uh, and he does a lot of great things for the San Diego Padres. Uh, but yeah, I can't. Uh, I don't know how to say his name. I need to. I need someone to pull up a baseball reference page for that guy right there, just to let me read off of it, just so I know how to say his name for future products. Uh, we got Elvis, and Brian De La Cruz, Jazz Chisholm Jr., Carson Kelly, Kirk, Ian Happ, Jose Miranda, Jordan Alvarez, and Stephen Kwan, second year. Uh, no rookies in uh, this uh, pack right here. Uh, kind of bizarre. We've had a lot of packs that usually have at least one rookie. Not always like one of the big name guys. You know, we're still looking for the Walker. Still looking for the Volpe in this. That I believe both are short prints. So, I mean, if we could pull those, that would be pretty awesome. Uh, Perez, Helsley, Tim Anderson, Chris Bryant, German Marquez, Clay Holmes, Robbie Ray, Mackenzie Gore, and Lamont Wade. Now, I feel like um, Chris Bryant, where because he played, he signed that really big contract with the Rockies for no real reason. I'm assuming just because they offered him the most money. So he's like, yeah, well, I'll go there. Uh, they offered him the most money, and then he played like 20 games, got hurt, missed the rest of the season, and I genuinely forgot he was still in the league because of that. Where it's just like, man, I wonder what happened to, to Chris Bryant, haven't heard anything of him. Oh, he's an Adley rookie. Good old Adley rookie, same thing with a Kyle Brabish. Good old Brabish rookie as well. So you've pulled the Riley Green, uh, we've gotten the... Oswaldo uh, Cabrera. Uh, a couple other decent rookies as well. Still looking for a Josh Young. Don't recall if he's in the set or not, actually. Uh, Corbin Carroll, we've got him. Uh, so definitely, just hopefully, we could pull either the Volpe or uh, the Walker short print. That would be pretty awesome right there. Uh, Casting Hira, Shea Langoliers, Starling Marte. Uh, Gerard Encarnacion, and Michael Chavis. 
Good old Michael Chavis right there. Langliers. I could have sworn he had a rookie with the Braves. I guess I'm mistaken on uh, his card market. But then again, I'm not a uh, Shea Langliers fan. As he was, like I said, with the Braves. So I don't entirely know his market. Kepler. Mancini. Peyton Burdick. Uh, Cal Mitchell, Miles Straw, Joe Musgrove, Kyle Wright, Felix Bautista, and a Kevin Biggio. So Felix Bautista, rookie. Put that to the side to sleeve up. Uh, but always going through the backs of these cards, just making sure that nothing is uh, going on. Uh, no short prints, no anything. We got uh, two rows after this current row. We got like two and a half rows remaining. Of this hobby box. Still looking for a hit. There we go. Best catcher in baseball. Ty French. Jacob Junis. We have 2022 strikeout leaders. Uh, Bryce Montez de Oca. A rookie. McCutcheon. And Jose Urquidy. Uh, strange that uh, there's a lot of players who signed. I mean, unless, unless Kutch just signed like super late into the season. Like into the off season. That they didn't have him as a pirate. Uh, but, I mean, Gene Segura is a Marlin. Um, there's a couple of players who I feel like signed late. Not even late. They just signed during the offseason and they have updated cards. Uh, Josh Rojas, Jesus Aguilar, Azzy Albies, Ken Waterchuk, uh, Nelson Velasquez, rookie, Pablo Lopez. I mean, he was traded on a Renfro and Yeri Rodriguez, a rookie card. I don't know the market on exactly when Renfro got traded, uh, but it was during the offseason at least. So, I mean, he gets an updated card for him in the Angels. Uh, while Kutch uh, did not have one. And, oh, just short of that pack. I think Profar just signed somewhere. So I understand why, you know, he doesn't have a card that's updated because he literally uh, just signed. CJ Rums, Tristan McKenzie. Matthew Batten, rookie. All-star third baseman right there. Brandon Drury. Uh, Zach Wheeler. And Jesse Chavez. Uh, Jesse Chavez, one of the... Not a great pitcher. Uh, but when he goes to the Braves for some reason, his ERA decides to like cut itself in the third. You know, I think that he was with like Texas and someone else. And he had like, an ERA in the sixes. Goes back to Atlanta. Or goes to Atlanta. You know, ERA like 2.4. Signed somewhere else. ERA is in the sevenths. Goes back to Atlanta. Gets traded back to Atlanta. And his ERA goes back down to uh, something respectable. So Kyle Wright, Justin Verlander, 2022 wins leaders. Matt Brash, Nikki Lopez, Evan Longoria, Corbin Carroll, Performers, New Age Rookie, Cedric Mullins, and Patrick Wisdom. So that's our second Corbin Carroll rookie of the box right there so pull that to the side now we got uh two two rows of cards left no we're on our second to last row of cards uh still looking for our one hit of the box so fingers crossed we don't gotta go through tops customer service uh because that's just a nightmare uh, moreno santander matt walner devers we have sean murphy nick solak teams on the reds Julio, New York Palmer's second year. Michael Harris, the second rookie. And a Contreras. Michael Harris, a rookie right there. I don't know if we, if we pulled a Michael Harris uh, rookie out of the first box we opened. Um, I could be mistaken. We could have pulled one out. Uh, but just my memory is uh, not uh, to, my, uh, to my friend right now. He's not helping me out right now. Classic memory of mine. Just not, uh, never there to help me when I need it. That's how it works. Uh, Walsh, Roof, Ned, Patrick Sandoval, J.P. Crawford, Michael Kopech. We have uh, Brennan Donovan. We have uh, Brett Batty, New Age Formers rookie. Uh, 2022 ERA leaders. And a Nolan Jones uh, for the Rockies. Nolan Jones for the Rockies. Uh, flipping through these. Looking for any... Short prints, errors, player swaps, team swaps, uh, swaps, color swaps, you know, stuff that I'm not going to notice off of the rip because 
that's just kind of how heritage works. It just it never makes it easy on you uh, with how they do some of these variations. I think the only variation that only set that makes variations more annoying uh, than say heritage would probably be Gypsy Queen, Drew Waters rookie, uh, Pineda. We have a Wander Franco second year, Garrett Cole, and a Ranger Suarez with a very bum corner. All right, what did Ranger do to you guys that you're gonna give him a bum corner like that? That's just uh, that's just uncalled for, honestly. Uh, not not cash money right there. Gonna sleeve up the waters as well as the second year wander. All right, uh, bum corner Ranger Suarez right there. That's real unfortunate. Uh, it's because this is such a large set. You're not guaranteed every card. Unlike like a Series 1 or a Series 2 base set, you're going to get 95% uh, of uh, the set in each hobby box you open. Count Stevens, uh, leader, uh, leading fireman, Kenley and Klose. Uh But you're going to get about 95%. Bailey Falter, Alex Cole, Freeman, Jack Sawinski, Joey Gallo. Um, geez, I got got to finish my sentence. Uh, you're going to get about 95 Five to ninety-eight percent of the entire uh, base set in your, uh, I guess, how to say, in your hobby box. Well, this is a four hundred plus card set. Is that a relic? I don't know. Is that a relic or is that an auto? It seems really thin to be a relic. Contreras, Snell. Uh, Tatis, Dalbic, Jameson Tyone. We have all star shortstops Turner and Tim Anderson. Uh, Perdomo, Carrasco, and this is going to be a Gunner Henderson. Oh boy. Did we just pull a Gunner auto? Or is this a Gunner parallel? It's going to be a Gunner rookie. Short print? Maybe. Flipped Gunner right there. Gunner, Randall, Harrison. Henderson, why I say Harrison? Doesn't tell me what it is. Uh, image. There it is. Image variation Gunner Henderson. There we go. Gunner Henderson short print right there. That's what you like to see. Good old Gunner Henderson. Well, that's a good short print to pull. Uh, image variation Gunner Henderson. You know, one of the better, I, mean, I don't think his batting average is there. Uh, but the player is going to hopefully have a good career, you know, for the Baltimore Orioles. Grisham, Sevy, Belly, Pavetta, Nolan Gorman. I always feel like I get him and uh, Nolan Jones confused for some reason. I don't know why I feel like that happens, but I just... Uh, feel like that's something that I do. It's like, oh yeah, Nolan Jones, Nolan Gorman. I think it's because their both names are Nolan. That's gonna be our, that's gonna be our hit right there. Oh boy, come on. All right, so our short print for the box was a hey, Gunner. It is our oh, that's a that's a relic. That is a relic. Let's pull it from the back. We have Gordon. Good old Nick Gordon. We have a Seth Brown. That's going to be, yep, that's the last card. Baez, Stott, second year. Charlie Morton, Hunter Brown. Uh, we have 2022 home run leader, Schwarber and Judge. And a uh, Andres Jimenez, Bat Relic. Game used Bat Relic right there for Andres Jimenez. Uh, so congratulations. You've just received a Clubhouse Collections Relic Card from 2022 Topps Heritage Baseball. Uh, the Relic uh, contains cards not from any specific game, event, or season. Topps pledges to bring you closer to the game and its leading players from past, present, and future. Is uh, Andres Jimenez a leading player from the past, present, or future? Uh, I'm not a Cleveland Guardians fan, so let me know in the comments down below. Uh, is, uh, is Andres Jimenez the next coming of... You know, Frankie Lindor, 2019. Uh, any other Frankie Lindor average, 2019 Frankie, you know, pretty good the whole baseball thing. Uh, but a Gunner short print, as well as a Jimenez bat, 
uh, card. Uh, so let me know in the comments down below what you think of this opening. But until next time, YouTube, though, peace out, rock on, stay super classy, and have yourselves a great rest of your day.